What up, bitches? It's a misanthropic one, a.k.a. He Who Hungers. And I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. Um, I had uh, one uh, follower, one subscriber in particular ask me about this situation I'm about to talk about. Um, a lot of y'all probably heard about this situation um, concerning Bob Unanwe, who is the... Um, CEO of Goya Foods, all right? And um, I would love to break down why this guy is one of my heroes, okay? And um, the reason why he's one of my heroes is, in case you haven't heard, Babu Nanwe uh, found himself at the White House a couple days ago, and um, he was there to kind of unveil something called the Hispanic Prosperity Initiative that Trump was uh, uh, making an, an executive order for, okay? And um, I'm sure that you, a lot of y'all haven't heard of it because the media will not cover it because it'll shatter their narrative of Trump's this gigantic, scary, racist guy. But just to give you just a quick little lowdown of what it is, it's essentially... Um, putting out there what Trump has um, done for black people. Um, but a lot of people don't want to believe that aspect either. It's basically the same shit uh, when it comes down to opportunity zoning um, and uh, school choice. I mean, it's a, it's a good read. If you, you don't get, just skim through it and you'll see what it is. But um, Babu Nanwe was called and he showed up there and, you know, he did a whole speech and everything. But the media, instead of reporting on, you know what they teach you in like the first and second grade in reading comprehension, what's the main idea of a situation or a paragraph or whatever. They went and took this little 10 second snippet of Babu Nanwe essentially praising Trump, saying something along the lines of, you know, um, my grandfather came here. Uh, he left Spain when he was 18 and uh, he my grandfather was a builder much like pre uh, President Trump is and, and and he's a leader and he's also a builder and you know we're blessed to have him and I pray for this dude and blah blah shit like that it was it was very innocuous you know even if you disagree with his opinion okay whatever fine you would think all right Hispanic Prosperity Initiative is the main idea. Oh, no, 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 no. The media spun it into that little 10-second clip, right? So you didn't even know that the Hispanic Prosperity Initiative was coming into play. Much like how when Trump was funding HBCUs, what was the story that they pushed? They, they had the fact that Kellyanne Conway had her feet on the sofa inside the Oval Office. That was the that was the story, not the fact that he's permanently funding HBCUs, which help out black people. But never mind that, right? So of course you have um, the backlash, which is common nowadays. Um, the backlash came in the form of various, uh, you know, the usual suspects. Your AOCs, uh, uh, Julian Castro, uh, Chrissy Teigen. I mean, AOC tweeted out some dumb shit talking about, oh, well, I'm Googling how to make my own adobo. I mean, this chick, I mean, she's making y'all chase this socialism crap. Meanwhile, she's steadily becoming richer and richer and richer. So you, let's, let's go with what she said. You expect me to believe after, you know, you have a job getting damn near close to 200K a year. And you're going to go make your own adobo? You're full of dog shit. <laughs> He's full of dog shit. Julian Castro, too. This this is one of them clowns that got blasted out of the uh, Democratic uh, debate so early on because he wanted to play friendly, play nice, play with his kitty gloves. I, th I don't take him seriously. He looks like some uh, fake uh, Spock reject from Star Trek. Um, Chrissy Teigen, yeah, you're a whore. I said it. I'm not DJ Academics. I'm not going to apologize for that shit. And then you have some other constituent. This dude, I, I don't even want to know this dude's name. I saw it on Amazing Lucas's video. 
this dude was sitting in a pantry, right? And he had a bunch of uh, Goya, Goya shit behind him. Bunch of Goya shit on shelves. And this dude is talking about the history of the Spanish conquistadors versus the islands. Like Puerto Rico and all this shit. And he's talking about, oh, uh, we've been oppressed by uh, conquistadors. And, uh, and listen, <laughs> I'm saying to myself, okay, if you truly believe that shit, what made you buy all the Goya shit in the first place? <laughs> Why would you buy that shit? Now all of a sudden it's a conditional thing. Now that's what broke you. Not the fact that according to you that you were conquered. Your people were conquered originally by conquistadors. No. Him simply saying, yeah, my grandfather came here and it's like Trump. He, he was a builder. That That's that's your breaking point. <laughs> that was the funniest. Um, yeah, it's just, it, it, it's so ridiculous. Um... This dude is is a godsend. I mean, you know, right now we're in a little uh, pandemic with the China virus and everything. And this dude, early on during the pandemic, he came out, he was donating food because we all know, you know, all the socialism, that AOC, people like that, that are, are, are clamoring for that. We've, see, we've gotten a brief overview of what it's going to be like, you know, with all the food lines and everything. This dude's out here donating millions, millions of pounds of food. And he's continuing to do it for people in need. You understand? So, what are all you idiots that are crying? What are y'all doing besides sitting there uh, trying to pluck at emotional heartstrings? Saying boycott Goya. What's the hashtag? Goya way. It's so ridiculous. And why I love this dude. Why I love Bob Unanwe. Listen, bro. Tu eres uh, mi uh, ero. Or tu eres un ero mio. You know? I, I love this dude. It's because he got on TV and he doubled down. He stood his ground. He was like, listen... It is what it is. He goes, I said what I said. He goes, listen, when when the Obamas called me up and they wanted me to come uh, do the uh, this shit for a healthy nutritionist, nutritious uh, foods and all that. Yeah, I came in. I did what I had to do. Trump called me for this shit and I showed up. I did what I had to do. So because I, uh, it's okay to praise one but not the other, like... <laughs> He's like, no, I'm not apologizing for it. It is what it is. I said what I said. And I love him for that because a lot of you, um, a lot of you cocksucking celebrities, a lot of you weak, uh, no vertebrae having motherfuckers out there will sit and say some real shit. And because the mob comes for you, you go, oh my God, no, 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 no. I apologize. I love the fact that this dude said, nah, bro. Hey, <laughs> take it how you want to take it. I said what I said, and that's it. And because of that, you know, the left said, oh, boycott it, boycott it. Let me show you something. I'm rocking with uh, Streamlabs OBS, so some of y'all are going to be proud of me. So we're on Twitter. And by the way, I'm not on Twitter anymore. I'm permanently suspended. So uh, follow me on Parlor. But um, let me show you something that is hilarious. Um, this is going to be my thumbnail here, by the way. I think that's fucking great. Well, half of it's showing up, but I have the full picture. Um, but let me show you something right here. Boom. Because of increased demand, customers are limited to two of each item in this section. Thank you for understanding. Look, look what's happening. Because y'all went out and told people... Hey, don't go buy this shit. And guess what? People are out here buying it. You cannot go get Goya shit. They're limited. Some I've seen some pictures where um, shelves are empty. I love that shit, bro. That's how you do it. That's how you fucking do it. And... Um, Basically, that's it, man. Uh, that's all I really got to say. Um, Babu Namwe, I hope you see this video. I know your headquarters are right here in um, Jersey. Yo, hit me up, bro. 
hit me up. I would love to come down and take a tour of some of the greatest fucking food on earth. Hold on, it's backwards. Some of the greatest food on earth. I've been growing up on this shit. Uh, Malta Goya. Oh my god, dude. I seen some 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 guy running around say, oh, we have to replace, we have to look at some replacements and put uh Malta India on it. Nah, bro. Malta Goya. That I'm a, I'm gonna keep getting this shit. And all my Latinos that follow me too, you know you ain't giving that shit up. It's too goddamn good. I know you got shit like Vitaros and uh, Badia and all that stuff. No, Goya is where it's at. They know they're a perfect brand. They know how to market themselves. Goya, end the story, man. And I want to come to, I forget where it is. It's not far. Is it Secaucus or Paramus? Somewhere north. But, yo, let me come out, please. I want to take a tour and see where some of my favorite foods are produced and what the low down behind it and everything. I love that shit. But anyway, wow, 11 minutes. That's it. Just wanted to do a quick video. Um, go go buy Goya. If you get it, your hands on it, get anything. There's spices, their adobo, uh, all that shit. And let me tell you some other thing before I, I get out of here. It's so hilarious how you go on Twitter and... That thing I showed you, the MAGA hat with the with the frijoles negros, uh, they're trying to ban memes like that. The only reason that this is a big deal and it should just be innocuous is simply because this is an election year. I've mentioned this in previous videos that these far left assholes they're gonna do whatever they can um, to to stop anything that's uh, leaning towards uh, Trump support or anything that's conservative leaning they're blocking that shit um a big part of trump's success in 2016 what were the the meme lords and, and online campaigning and doing all this shit now they're getting hip to that they, they're just they're blatantly burning but it's digital book burning essentially they just can't handle the heat so um listen all your carpe donctums people like this yo Keep the heat on. Keep piling it on, man. Um, but yeah, Bible Namwe, I hope you see this video. Holla at me. I'm on Parlor under the misanthropic one. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love, leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe. Please like my video, share it across social media um, to stop the YouTube rhythm. Uh, rhythm. Ah youtube algorithm and censorship and um that's it all right peace bitches